everybody. My name is Chris and I just want to take a minute. This is uh, my first video for YouTube. I've been putting videos out for Vimeo, but I wanted to increase the audience for this. I thought YouTube would be a great good place to go. So I want to put a little introductory. This is about Project Kronos and what Project Kronos is. Started out a few years ago, I wanted to get into motion controlled time-lapse photography and I didn't really see any um, rails or anything that really quite did it for me and they weren't what I was looking for. Um, I've always been kind of do-it-yourself type person and I like the flexibility being able to design my own thing so I decided I was just going to design my own system. The first one was a little self-propelled cart with a little uh, pan head on it. Worked great but um, it, it would anytime I had a bump or anything it would show up in the video so I decided to take on the dolly challenge. So um, working with a friend of mine Kyle we put together Project Kronos. Um, in a nutshell this is all open source. Everything about this rail, how to build one, list of parts, schematics, code, diagrams, step-by-step -step instructions is all available online at sourceforge.net. You can go on there, it'll give you, tell you everything you need to know in order to put one of these things together. Uh, what I wanted to do is put together kind of a do-it-yourself type thing because uh, all of the do-it-yourself time-lapse rails I saw out there that had like, you know, the information on how to build one, they were very simple. It was mostly just a speed controller. Uh, with a DC motor and uh, a belt and a carriage and you could just control the speed in which it was going to move and that's it. I wanted something with a lot more advanced functions and in the end, I mean, the first one was project or first rail we built was Kronos 1 and that was a very simple system but it was just kind of well let's, let's try to try this out, let's see if we can do this, let's see if we can build one of these things, put it out, put all the code up there for everybody and it worked out just great but I knew I was never going to be satisfied with that system because it was a very simple system. So I started working on Kronos 2.0, the software package for this, and we added this display. And by going with this kind of architecture, we eliminated the need for any menus. It's extremely fast and simple to hook uh, set up, but it only takes like maybe about 15 seconds to put in any kind of routine, no matter how complicated, it's very fast to do. And uh, you went with a lead screw design with a stepper motor instead of a belt and a DC motor, it gives us the ability to do macro time lapse. So you can do motion control at a very small increments. Other si systems can do, you know, maybe about 125 shots per inch. We can do 64,000 shots per inch. That gives the ability to do velocity ramping where you start really slow, then gain speed and slow down. And it'll do all that stuff. And it'll take all the pictures, it'll do HDR, it's uh, got a multitude of movement options. Uh, bulb control. It'll sync up with any system out in the market. Uh, intervalometers, plug right into it, it'll sync right up with them, no problem. So all the code for this is up and that's what Project Kronos basically is. It's, it's becoming this uh, online community of time-lapse enthusiasts who like to build their own systems. There's uh, easily 20 or 30 of these that we've already put together for people. Um, we'll, we will put them together for people for a price if they're not willing to go through the effort of doing it themselves. Um, there's a lot of other people who have opted to do it the do-it-yourself route and they'll send us some uh, emails and questions and stuff if they're running into problems or snags and we'll help them through it. All this kind of stuff is free of charge. My time and my emails are all free. Uh, if you want me to build something for you though, you're probably going to have to pay because you know, Kyle and I, this is not a company, this is not a business. We both have full-time jobs, full-time families and all that kind of stuff. So this is something that we work in on the side. But in a nutshell, uh, this is it. This is, uh, this is the Kronos 2.0 rail. This is the control box. It detaches. I'll go over a lot more information on this. I've got a ton of videos that I'm going to be bringing over onto video, including all the Kronos 101 episodes, which explains how to use this, what functions do what, and how to basically how to set it up and how to work it. Then I got a bunch of videos that are the Kronos News, which is something that's kind of an ongoing series that I'll do maybe every month or so. I'll get off my butt and put one of these together. And in that, I'll just discuss time lapse stuff, things that are going on, terms, stuff, you know, anything that I really think of that I feel uh, I could address and help answer questions and help people out. If you, if you want, you know, you should go on to Facebook and look for Project Kronos on the pages and like it. Also, go check it out on sourceforge.net, search for Project Kronos, and you'll find all the information, schematics, and all that stuff on how to build a system like this. And if you want to put one together and need any assistance, help, questions, comments, um, feedback, we, are, we would love to get it. You can, reach, uh, we can reach Kyle or myself, Chris, at projectkronoshelp at gmail.com. And here, hopefully, towards the end of the year, we're going to be getting a website up, and I think that we're actually going to go legit with a business. Um, Project Kronos, or Kronos 2.0, will always remain open source, but we have a couple other things coming down the pipeline that are just probably beyond 
a do-it-yourself type system. It requires a lot of specialized parts, special requests from vendors and stuff like that. But uh, go on there and check it out because we got some really exciting things happening. So keep an eye out on this. So we're gonna, I'm going to put together a video on Kronos 2.0, just uh, like an overview to help explain it. And then if you want to go further, you can look at the Kronos 101 episodes. And um, I'm doing a lot of testing. I'm out here today. I've got a lens motor that I'm going to be testing that will adjust the focus. So I'm going to have some fun with that. I also have the most latest incarnation of the of the Project Clover prototype. The Project Clover is going to add multi-axis support to this system. It's not going to replace this system. It's an add-on to this system. Um, and actually, it'll add on to any system. It was like Kronos, it will sync up to anything out there. But, you know, keep an eye out for that. We're trying to get as many people aware of this as possible. This has been a lot of fun. And uh, so far, we have one of these on every single continent except for Africa. And yes, we do have one on Antarctica, and we're really stoked about that. Look at our Facebook page, and you'll see the information about the uh, Sub-Zero system we put out. It was pretty cool. It was rated down to negative 40. So thanks a lot, and hope to talk to you soon.